Hello and welcome to Moment of Truth on Labour Social. I'm Graham Hughes. In May this year, a tech company based in India called Infosys scored a $1.5 billion deal from BP. Firstly, a little bit of history about BP. From 1988 uh, to 2015, BP was responsible for 1.5% of global industrial greenhouse emissions. That's worldwide. BP has been directly involved in several major environmental and safety incidents, some of the biggest of all time. Among them were the 2005 Texas City refinery explosion, which caused the death of 15 workers and resulted in a record-setting OSHA fine. Britain's largest oil spill, the wreck of the Torrey Canyon in 1967, and the 2006 Prudhoe Bay oil spill, the largest oil spill on Alaska's North Slope, which resulted in a $25 million civil penalty, the largest per barrel penalty for that time of an oil spill. Now, BP's worst environmental catastrophe was in, the tw it was in 2010. It was the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, the largest accidental release of oil into marine waters in history, which leaked around 4.9 billion barrels of oil, causing severe environmental, human health, and economic consequences. BP eventually paid more than 4.5 billion in fines and penalties and an additional 18.7 billion in Clean Water Act related penalties and other claims. The largest criminal resolution in US history. But don't worry, they can afford it. They made more than 28 billion billion dollars in pure profits last year after war profiteering and rowing back on its so-called commitment to going green. Meanwhile, Emphasis, one of the biggest IT firms in the world, promised to stop trading with Russia 18 months ago when Vlad the Impaler Putin invaded Ukraine. It's still trading with Russia. And it's not just BP that it provides services for. It also provides, it also has contracts with Aramco, Chevron, Conoco Phillips, ExxonMobil and Shell, some of the most evil and damaging companies in the world run by psychopaths who don't just want to watch the world burn, they want to be the ones to light the blue touch paper. Why is this relevant? Well, because Emphasis was founded by Rishi Sunak's father-in-law, our Prime Minister, and between our Prime Minister and his wife, Akshata Murthy, they own a reported £690 million stake in Emphasis. Now, I'm sure it's just an absolute coincidence that soon after Infosys signed this massive deal with BP, Sunak decided almost immediately to offer over 100 licenses for drilling and more gas extinction juice <laughs> extraction from under the North Sea for the filthy rich swivel-eyed bastards intent on making your children's world as uninhabitable as possible. But now he's gone even further. He's scrapped the 2030 pledge for no new petrol or diesel cars, a move condemned by car manufacturers who have spent billions updating their production lines already, and in a massive betrayal of the manifesto on which people voted in 2019. It's an even bigger betrayal to the people of Britain, which, don't forget, we get fuck all help from our government. If you want to get an electric car, unlike unlike other countries in Europe. Don't forget, we get next to nothing to insulate our homes. And if you want to put in heat pumps, install solar panels, this Tory government doesn't give a shit. This is the government that effectively banned onshore wind farms and put a stop to the massive progress that was being made in insulating people's homes. It's the government that refused to properly tax oil and energy companies and are, that are making an absolute killing as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine while the good people of Britain freeze to death in their homes. Here's the headline. Rishi Sunak's father-in-law's firm was given a contract worth one5 billion dollars with one of the biggest petrochemical companies in the world. And from that moment on, Rishi Sunak, the unelected prime minister of the United Kingdom, has done everything in his power, everything in his cr corrupt and venal power to maximise profits for the oil, for the fossil fuel giants before the end of the world as we know it. Which, I guess he's not as bothered about his own f children's futures as he is his own bank balance and just when you thought the Tories 
can't, couldn't possibly stoop any lower into the morass of corruption, greed, and biblical levels of incompetence. <laughs> they never fail to somehow lower the bar. This is imperial level corruption going on in plain sight. And I haven't even mentioned the influence of 55 Tufton Street in all this. That'll be a video for another day. But in case you were wondering, this is why we can't have nice things. Like, I don't know, a livable future for our planet. The only home we'll ever know.